Now going over to the Culture Pride Podcast, you have liberal women paying $4,000 to yell in a forest. Because reasons. I mean, this is yet another reason you know people need to actually go out and touch grass. You're really willing to spend $4,000 to go into a forest and yell. I mean, that's one of the dumbest uses of money I've ever heard of in my lifetime. And I've seen people buy, you know, what is it, fidget spinners, uh, what is it, knockoff beanie baby things, the Funko Pop thingamajigs. Nothing is, th there's no dumber use of money in paying to go to a forest for this quote unquote, for this retreat. I mean, there are a lot, of, I mean, for like 20 bucks, you can go to most public parks in the United States and get like the camping permit. You just put a little, well, back in my day, you put a little cash into a little cash box, you set up your own tent for like 20 bucks. And yet, now, in terms, it is the beauty of capitalism. Some guys, I mean, someone is making bank off these ladies. But nevertheless, this one popular on X Twitter from what was reposted by Lives of TikTok, which is how I saw it, originally posted by Ali London. And if you're just tuning in, you're probably very thankful you don't actually have to see these ladies because, spoiler alert, they're about what you would expect in terms of visual apparel uh, or lack thereof. Now, before the video, he says, quote, Liberal women spend $4,000 to bash sticks on the ground and scream at a Rage Ritual Retreat, which I guess in terms of marketing, that's kind of a catchy thing, a catchy phrase, the RRR, the Rage Ritual Retreat. Now, this might just be helping prepare them from if, for the, when Trump wins. That could very well be the real purpose of this. And he also says, quote, the Bizarre Wellness Retreat is designed to help women deal with anger, unquote. Which, I don't know if they're just mentally... Well, just have the mental acumen or intelligent intellect of a child. Like once you get to a certain age, it's pretty easy to cope with your anger. I mean, back in the day, if you're a child, you just scream to a pillow. If you're an adult, maybe just hit the gym or do some push-ups or do some laundry or do some work. It's one of those things where if you have a job or a family, it's kind of you really don't need an outlet for your anger. You're using a lot of energy just to keep up with the kids or just to work. You can just a traditional nine to five. You're putting a lot of energy into that. I can't help but think this is exclusively targeted at people who just sit at home and do nothing all day anyway. Now, I normally say their voices are infinitely better than mine when I post a video on the show. In this case, you might want to turn down your, your earbuds a little bit because it is a little loud. I tried to adjust the volume a little bit. And it is mostly meant to be vacuous, although not really entertaining. And Dick O'Brien got like 4 plus, what is it, 4.5? 4.7 million views and 13,000 likes. Now, they're all stand, now at least the at least the forested area does look photographic. They got some nice, what was it, pine trees. And I forgot the little leafy things that the, the little leafy things called. Very embarrassing. I forget what the term is. My dad, I used to plant so many, do so much garden work as a child growing up and plant all those trees. I should really know these better than this. But nevertheless, they are, this one gal is dressed in all black, perhaps coming from an Antifa rally. Let's see what they have to, let's see what they have to say or lack thereof. <laughs> so, I mean, this one first gal looks like not a manatee. I forget what what animal that would be. Not a whale, but yeah. So the first first clip is it's already not off to a good start. And again, I mean, unless it's an advertising campaign for the history tree, I mean, again, marketing is important. I mean, with the best marketing, you could sell darn near anything in the short term. Long term product or service needs to be reliable and beneficial, of course, which this of course is not. But yeah, it's not, not good marketing. Is that the lazy? So they, instead of doing squats, they're just throwing their arms in the air and then throwing them back down. As if you're like a medicine, not even mess medicine ball squat. It's almost, it's almost as if they're having a seizure, which I don't want to say it looks like they do drugs, but let's just say they might be, well, not what is the youth might say, rolling probable cause. If you're driving, if you're a sheriff or, you know, if you're a police officer driving by, you probably think, they're on something, or they need a mental health. Or both. It's almost done, I promise. It's only 30 seconds. Eh, th no, eh, almost 30 seconds left. Right now, I feel! What do you feel? <laughs> right now, I feel afraid and I feel sad. And, again, sure sign that you don't have a job or something, or like a cause in life. You want to have these issues if you're a parent. Like, and this... And again, not photogenic, 
Miss Elder, they pan to this big gal screaming. Of course, none of them are suited up like all men should, and maybe some, eh, not even, not even a classy dress or anything. They're wearing like a plain green sweater, which, I mean, F minus for marketing, that, that's just terrible. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Again, keep in mind, they're spending $4,000 and they're taking sticks and slamming them to the ground. Something a child would do for free. Or most, I mean, if, even if you wanted to do this as an adult, you can go to a public park and granted, people probably make fun of you and take a video of you, which I guess, same experience here that they're doing that here, and you just hit the twig or the stick into the ground. About halfway done. It's painful, I know, but we're, we'll get through it together. I was gonna say, at least that one gal is phonogenic. There's one, no, not that one, for the love of God. Looks like, against the manager, so a couple of gals look like they could be Luluman models or whatever. And they're, they're intense. They're jumping into the air and slamming this little twig into the ground. Surprised they don't have helmets on. Oh, terrible marketing. So again, going to the girl in the green sweater, she also has, I call it sweatpants that. It's the same color sweatpants as the person's skin, so it's like a, was it like a whitish pink? It's not, it's not good. It's not good marketing. They're gonna have way too much time on their hands. Like I, I work multiple jobs. I can't conceive having so much free time where. You pay four thousand dollars. You go to this retreat. Looks like this is the main leader. Which I'm not saying there's a hundred percent chance she's single. I mean, there's no such thing as sh a sure thing when it comes to gambling or you know the odds. But she looks lonely. I mean, and she has like war paint on. So she's wearing and her hair is obviously terrible. I mean, granted, how much I have, I don't, granted, I, don't, I know I don't have much ground to stand on, but I mean. I don't know what kind of product she's using. Maybe she's using natural dirt, the thing where you don't wash your hair. But, yeah, she's uh, got like war paint on. The white gal with a frumpy black sweater. What's she say? They're, they're trying to take something from her? They're talking about like taking their burger from them or what is this? What is, she, what is he saying? Maybe they're training for the next time they go to Applebee's and they're worried that someone's going to take their food, which some of these ladies may very well be concerned with that being something that could happen conceivably in their lifetime. Maybe that's what they're, they're trying to take their food. $4,000. And again, I give, I mean, whoever is charging them that money, that's genius. If these, it, it, what's the nice way of saying it, mentally vacuous ladies are willing to pay $4,000 to you just to, I don't know if this is a public trail or a private property. Just come on your land and whack things up and yell. Granted, you might want to wear some earplugs while the ladies are there, but I mean that's a phenomenal return on investment. If you're the if you're the company charging these ladies, I mean that is business brilliance. Very low overhead. Granted, you might have to have some extra insurance. It's probably a big risk because I don't want to say they look insane, but they're a couple loose marbles. Let's just say that much. So they might you know they might fall down or break a what you just say. Or get hip or something. I don't know. There's a little bit of risk there. You'd have to have some liability insurance, of course. And it went pretty viral. It got reposted by Lips of TikTok. So the first responses going to be here got John. No oh, way. Is it a contrarian statement right off the bat? It is. I think he likes this. So this is John, who is a. describing himself as a neurobiology, a healer, a researcher, a carpenter, a musician, a student, a critical point strategist. He has like a Pokeball or a fishing bobber as a logo next to his name. As well as the American flag, interestingly enough. And the Bible. He says, easy to judge these people, easy to judge anyone. Real solutions are not easy. If this makes sense to you, your support is appreciated. What? Oh, so he's advertising some crap. No one liked it. He got zero likes. Alright, you also have Matt saying, how are you feeling? He says, I feel, I feel, I very feel. Looks like someone in like a, what do you call it the thing that celebrities use in terms of, uh, no, it's celebrities and athletes, like a cryogenic bath, got zero likes. 
Let's say. There we go. So Zuby says, when the barista gets the order wrong for your skinny pumpkin la spice latte. Got 3,000 likes. Paul Zupa says, money well spent, getting 49 likes. George Alexampo says, a lot of money to waste when all they need is some men private part. Got 1.4 thousand likes. Freddie says, is this why liberal li women are mostly single? Getting 1,000 likes, which... Yeah, it's one of those things where, again, if you have a family, a job, or a of intelligence, you wouldn't be doing this. And traditionally speaking, the people who want families in America these days are overwhelmingly conservative. Let's see. Becca says, my question is, why are they so angry? Getting 170 likes. Which I would say, probably social media tells them to be angry and the world's unfair. And they, they said, oh yeah, the whole world's against you. They're stealing your opportunity. Yeah. Unofficial R and B says, once by a time, we put them here. It's a picture of a padded room getting 925 likes. Mad Mitch 61 says, I remember seeing that after Trump's election and they didn't have to pay for it. And it's one of those infamous pictures you have the, well, I was going to say obviously meant uh, visually unappealing, but it's the gal who, when Trump won, was wearing like the yellow safety gear or safety uh, jacket. She had a beanie on, which women should never wear, obviously. And she has glasses and, she, of course, of course, short hair. And she just breaks down and cries. I got 267 likes. He says liberal women are a threat to democracy, the lack of reason, and void of happiness. Maybe they should try. Maybe they should try it sometime. Most likely, they have a lack of reason and void of happiness. Okay. They got 396 likes. Chrissy says, what are those women doing for a living affording $4,000 rage fest? In 218 likes, which, good question. I wonder if it's a lot of government assistance or... Again, I can't imagine having a stable job where, again, you would pay to go do this. Where, like, if you know the value of a dollar, like, what, who would actually pay for it? To hear. Lisa B. Sarcasm says, why so angry at the world? That says sensitive content. Let's see here. Go. Ooh, yeah. Uh, a lot of naked feminists, which, uh, yeah, obviously unattractive. And thankfully, it's covered up with a little sensor bar. And it says, these are the people who who think you're crazy if you voted for Trump. And I got 777 likes. Legion's uh, Penal Galan says, looks like a free Palestine rally, getting 337 likes. Eli says, ha ha ha, this is so weird, almost like the protesters at the University of the USA. Getting 126 likes, which, yeah. Steven VoiceOver says, can someone all do us a favor and introduce a bear? Getting 207 likes. Most sticks says silly women only charge 3,500 and I'll give them a few rocks they can throw too. Okay, 364 likes. Okay, here. Walt Wang says definitely looks like a liberal and especially the girl in the green sweater. Getting some of the sick, getting 34 likes. Mike Hart MD says they went to the wrong retreat. Vetting is not effective for anger. Yoga, breathing exercises, and meditation reduce anger. With meditation topping the list. Unquote. I got 38 likes when really. Lift a weight or run. That was probably my top suggestions for, you know, if you have issues with venting anger and you want to reduce it, get a job or just work out. Or if you want something more therapeutic, read a book, which I know is a rare thing in the United States. I have to explain to folks who are younger. The books are like magazines. Oh, wait, that doesn't work. It's like Reddit, but on paper from the printer. It has lots of words, usually about 20 bucks. It takes someone, you know, six months to a lifetime to write a book. It usually provides a tremendous amount of value for you. I wish I was only kidding, but yeah, you never know how many people actually know what a book is. But nevertheless, Alex says someone needs to tell them to calm down, getting 89 likes. See if there's any country. I'm trying to see if there's any contrary in statements here. Let's see here. Oh, Steve Stevenson said they just need to relax and go make their random sandwich, sandwich, getting 45 likes. Which, again, I don't think any of them are actually in relationships, yet alone happy relationships. Uh, let's see this. Uh, let's see here. Downtown Ferry says, you mean I can make money doing that? Getting 66 likes. I mean, let's see. Bob Allen says, feminist teaching anti-men hate getting 18 likes. DFMC says, I've seen them exhibit this kind of behavior in a Walmart parking lot and it seemed free. Getting 84 likes. So... I was going to say, Cryptus Attacks says at least she's getting some exercise. It's the big gal in the green sweater. Got 27 likes. Hey, Mr. Rando says, please record them again when Trump gets reelected. Getting 86 likes. Probably people saying they're demonic. 
Which, yeah, interestingly enough, not a single contrarian statement. And don't get me wrong, there's still a lot of people who like them, and probably each other and their cats, but nevertheless, there are people who are signing up for that service. And that company is making, imagine, $4,000 per person. We saw at least 10 gals in there. Like, now, it would probably be more prudent to charge by weight, but nevertheless, I, I mean, $40,000? Just have people come on property and smash things and yell. Granted, I know you probably might get some extra hearing protection. I mean, the stuff that... I mean, shooting protection is pretty effective when you go to the shooting range. You get some nice earplugs, get some earmuffs, maybe. But, I mean, for that situation, I'd probably recommend the military-grade head units that they put when the guys on the Harrier or on the uh, aircraft carrier, they're, you know, pushing the, you know, pointing the jet by. And that, I probably want those head, the little, little hearing protection when the jet goes by. That For this situation, again... One of those things, there's no such thing as a one size fit all solution for anything in life, most things in life actually. For that case, I probably want those types of earmuffs. So let me know, have you ever heard, have you seen this trend before? Do you know anyone who would actually pay $4,000 for this event? As always, we've got to hear what you have to say. Thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in. Again, trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you could click that button, I'd greatly appreciate it. Also, leave me a thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment is a great way to give me some additional feedback, letting me know how I can make the show better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe, fight the good fight.